Welcome to Headlines in Health. Dr. Mark Vaughn from the Auburn Medical Group and I will be discussing the topic of proton pump inhibitors, a type of medication that's used for stomach acid, and how these medicines might be causing damage to the kidneys. Dr. Vaughn, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Dr. Carlson. It's a pleasure to be on your YouTube channel, and I look forward to the conversation that we'll have and the opportunity it presents for you, our respective subscribers, to learn about the facts behind these sensational headlines. There has been quite a bit of media coverage of an article in the February edition of the Journal of the American Medical Association Internal Medicine. It's a study which suggests that a common drug to both of our practices, we use it all the time, can cause injury to patients' kidneys. The class of drug is called proton pump inhibitors. And you might recognize some of the popular names like the purple pill, Nexium, and Prilosec, and Protonix. This class is used uh, because it decreases the production of acid in the stomach. And the reason that's helpful is because people oftentimes will have disorders with their digestion where they produce too much acid and it can cause injury. And the symptoms can range from something as minor as acid indigestion all the way to a major stomach ulcer that can rupture and bleed. Now that they are available over the counter, you know, without a prescription, you can just go and get them. They're used by many patients without any consultation with a physician uh, to discuss what their symptoms are and what other workup might be necessary to check them out. This article reports on a small study done on data collected during the atherosclerosis risk in community study. It studied over 10,000 subjects and then they decided to take the results and see if they could replicate it, and they did it by analyzing records of over 240,000 individuals. And they found that patients who use proton pump inhibitor drugs had a significantly higher incidence of chronic kidney disease on a blood test compared to people who did not take these drugs. They also found that there was a significant difference when they compared patients on proton pump inhibitors to patients who used a similar type of medicine called H2 antagonists, and that would be like Zantac or Tagamet, not quite as strong as the proton pump inhibitors. The cutoff they used to delineate between people with or without chronic kidney disease was based on a lab value found on a blood test. There was no requirement that the patients have any symptoms or, or other noticeable effect on their health to be labeled as having kidney disease. It's actually expected that the vast majority of these patients who were supposedly having kidney disease will never suffer any significant ill effects apart from having this number on a test. So we don't want to overuse these medications. Very, very often you can get the symptoms taken care of by just changing your diet around, maybe eating less spicy foods, cutting back on your alcohol, not overeating, trying not to lay down within two hours of a meal, cutting back on things like chocolate and mints that sometimes make the valve between your stomach and esophagus weak and acid can wash up and give you heartburn. If you do have problems, reach first for the antacids. Maybe a little bit of uh, Tums or Mylanta. Those will settle your stomach without really changing the amount of acid production. If you're still having problems three or four times a week, you might talk with your doctor and get on something like Pepsid or Zantac, which is going to shut off your acid about 50%. Without physician supervision, these medicines really should only be taken for a short period, not exceeding two weeks. I'll often use these medicines for a 30-day period followed by a recheck. Patients continuing to have symptoms after the recheck are referred to a gastroenterologist for endoscopy or a look inside. The gastroenterologist will check for serious disorders uh, that can even include cancer. Most patients do not have a serious disorder, and many end up doing best continuing on these medicines for the long term. Just a small portion, but there's still a lot of people. Well, I hope that's given you a better understanding of how proton pump inhibitors might be affecting your kidney health. Remember, if you're going to be on these medicines for more than a few weeks, get in touch with your doctor. Be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel and Dr. Vaughn Auburn Medical Group YouTube channel where you can see hundreds of videos on medical issues and procedures. Thanks very much, Dr. Vaughn, for uh, joining us. Thanks for having me. I loved it. I hope to do more of these in the future. Well, that's Headlines in Health.